Hi, my name is Jillian Quigley, and welcome back to the Honey Badger of DBT YouTube channel. Today's topic is going to be about excessive vocalization or excessive screaming in pet parrots. Have you ever been having a conversation with someone in your house, and the bird is just escalating the noise level higher and higher and higher and higher and higher? It's because you're not paying enough attention to them. They are just trying to find a way to compete. So, how do you solve this problem? Don't encourage the behavior in the first place. When you're alone at home, if you're in the room with the bird and you walk out of the room and the bird starts screaming, then what I want you to do is just don't go back in the room. One of the best ways to encourage the behavior is to go back in the room, say, stop it, or be quiet, or shut up, and then walk out of the room. The bird doesn't care that you've just given it negative attention. All the bird cares about is, oh, my flock just gave me attention. So then the bird figures out very quickly, oh, if I do this, I get attention. Then, of course, certain, you know, owners have to go to work. The neighbors are complaining that while they're gone, the bird is screaming all day long. It is very isolating for a bird to be alone in a cage for six to eight hours a day. There have been some species of birds where studies have been shown that these birds have the talking ability, the vocabulary ability of a three-year-old child with the intelligence of a kindergarten age child. So if you think about it, if you take a five-year-old and put it in a play pen with a couple of toys and some food and water for about six to eight hours a day and you go to work, when you come home, that five-year-old is not gonna be, I love you, I love you. They are gonna be screaming because they're gonna be releasing all that frustration that is accumulated throughout the entire day. So, one of the best ways to deal with it if you need to go to work is captive foraging. Captive foraging is very simple. A bird would be flying around six to eight hours a day if it were in the wild to find enough food to meet its nutritional needs. In captivity, three steps to the right is a bowl filled with nutrient-dense food. Then they've got a lot of time on their hands. So what do we do? We put the bird's food in toys that they have to undo puzzles and get things open and it's fun, it's challenging for them, it's a job because you have to find some way to keep their mind occupied when you're gone. If you keep their mind occupied, they may still scream, but they're gonna scream less because they're gonna have things to do. Therefore, when you get home, Again, if your bird screams for the first five minutes when you walk in, maybe when you first walk in, say hi, you know, hi, and then just kind of go about your business when the bird gives a quiet pause, or maybe they say one of their words in their vocabulary, like hello or pretty bird, you can then go up to the bird and reward it with your attention. So in a nutshell, the biggest way is to not encourage the behavior in the first place, and if the behavior occurs, try to find some other way to distract the bird, to give it something else to do so that it doesn't scream instead. Try to figure out what the root of the behavior is and why the bird is screaming. You can treat the symptoms all you want. And if you find, don't find the root of why the bird is screaming, it's just going to continue. So find the root of the behavior, change up the bird's environment, and don't encourage the behavior. Use positive reinforcement to show the bird what you do want. That will help calm your bird, build a better relationship between you and your bird and maybe your neighbors too. And the bird will scream less. For more training tips, see future videos. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Have a nice day.